Ho, 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 and Merry Holidays. I'm your host, Eben, and welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection, where we're, today we're going to be doing a follow-up video on this beautiful 2011 Lexus GS350. Now, if you're not familiar with this little angel, she is what we call the sexy Lexi. She's uh, been very easy. She uh, runs great. We've done all the fluids on her from top to bottom. So if you want to see every fluid we did on her, check out the video up here in the corner. You'll see that little icon. Click on that. Now we're going to go right into the engine flush. We're going to show you what the oil looks like after one year and about eight to 12,000 miles. This car gets driven here in Las Vegas where it's very hot. It gets driven about half a mile down the street, so it never warms up. It gets a lot of uh, tough fuel dilution because when the car doesn't warm up, it's running rich. And when the car runs rich, you get extra fuel that spits into that goes into the motor oil and it's really hard on it. So we're gonna show you the oil right now. Hey, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. And today we're gonna be putting in the octane booster, the PI cleaner, the engine flush, the upper cylinder. We're gonna be replacing the oil filter, this. We're gonna show you the oil change, how easy it is. And then we're gonna go test driver. Let's rock. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Too hot, we're gonna motor down, pop our hood here. And we're gonna show you what the oil looks like. Let's take a look. So now it usually takes about 10 minutes for all the oil to drain down on a double overhead cam motor. So you're gonna see it's gonna be a little off here, but I wanna just show you, this is a nice fresh virgin towel and I wanna show you what the oil looks like. So that's what the oil looks like after one year. And now we're gonna go ahead and give you an example of exactly what it looks like. The shocks are shot on this 2011, still got the original shocks. And now we're gonna show you the dipstick. It's right there at the bottom of the bubble. So if you let this actually drain down for about uh, 10 minutes, that oil will actually come to about right here. So in 10,000 miles in one year, this motor in Las Vegas with the extreme temperature, 170 degree blacktop, 115 degree days in the summer, this car burned a half a quart of oil. That's right, one half of a quart of oil right here. That's it, in 10,000 miles. So that's just an idea of how much less oil you'll burn. You don't waste your time topping off the car over the course of the year. You get better fuel mileage and inside the motor stays extremely clean, which we're gonna show you right now. All right, so here's inside the oil cap. Look at how easy this thing spins like butter. Absolutely unbelievable. Now this car has had AMS oil now for four years. Only one oil change per year. It's gone between eight and 12,000 miles per year. Absolutely no carbon buildup. Super clean. Amazing how uh, clean these motors are. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in our engine flush right now. All right, we got our cute little shovel to hold the hood and we gotta get some new shocks on this sucker. That's normal, they last about 10 years. So we're gonna use our engine flush. This is a very thin detergent. And what this does, this prepares engines for nice virgin 100% synthetic motor oil. You put this in for 10 to 15 minutes, it idles. This gets rid of sticky lifters, gets all kinds of carbon around the rings, oil cooler ports. If you have a turbo motor, that actually helps with turbo coking. And all you do is taco this little flap, you push in, and then you just peel sideways, just like that. And then you just dump in the flush, throw it into a good hot motor. We let this idle for about 20 minutes so it's nice and hot. And now we're gonna throw it in. Now this has the old motor oil in it. And we're also going to throw in the PI cleaner. So it's going to clean the valves as we clean inside the motor in the crankcase. We're going to be cleaning the fuel injectors at the same time. And what that does is that helps with your fuel atomization, which we'll show you right now. This is up to 14% more horsepower in just one bottle of this PI cleaner. And you say, well, how is that possible? And this is the full chart. And you can look at all the full technical bulletin data down in the description section below. If you click right here, you'll see a little tab, show more if you're on a laptop desktop. If you're on a smartphone, click the reverse down arrow. It's right here underneath the, the video. Now this is what atomization is. So think of this as a fuel injector, that's your spray bottle. And you'll see how the water is shooting straight, pretty much straight. 
Well, that's not atomizing. So every time there's a combustion, it's act, the fuel is actually going by the flame. It's not burning and you're just wasting that fuel. And if you don't ignite the fuel, you don't have any horsepower. So how do you fix that? You clean this injector and when you clean it, this is what happens. You have that mist and that's called atomization right there. And that's uh, the fuel is actually misting and each individual droplet has air in between and that allows it to burn. And when you burn more fuel, you give off more heat, more power, more combustion. And that's how the PI cleaner restores your performance. This is actually uh, treats 30 gallons of gas. You put it in every 4,000 miles. So now we're gonna put it in right now. All right, now we're throwing in our PI performance improver. This is the gasoline additive that gives you the better atomization, more power, better fuel mileage, gets your car not to ping as much. You have less pinging knocking because it cleans the combustion chambers. You got your gasless gas cap compatible hip. You stick it in, just takes one finger, and she boo boo. She's all the way full. There's one bottle. Now we're gonna go on to our upper cylinder lubricant. And this is one of our combinations, which I'm gonna show you. This is what I call the power combo. You got your upper cylinder lubricant. This fights ethanol, lubricates your upper rings. That's the part that doesn't get lubrication from your motor oil. So if you want your car to run smoother, get better fuel mileage, you're gonna to wanna to use this. We've had someone on the channel get four average miles per gallon better with the Toyota Tacoma, just with the upper cylinder lubricant. And uh, we got the Dominator uh, Boost, which boosts your octane, gives you more power, gets you better fuel mileage. And I like this a lot because it also helps clean your fuel system. I've actually run this now on a couple of vehicles and I'm finding out this actually cleans more than you think and uh, it's really surprising how much better a lot of vehicles have been running. So I'm gonna show you what the cap looks like. Once again, gasless gas cap compatible tip. Not only can you stick it in, but you can also yank out. And then you just gotta pop this in here, which is a little bit of a stickler. And we just gotta rip that open. And we got our seal open, which is sealed really well. And you just give it a little squeeze -a And that's it. And this treats 25 gallons of gasoline. So that's that. And now we're on to our Dominator Octane Booster. This treats up to 15 gallons of fuel. And uh, I recommend putting this in about a half a tank. It's gonna make a huge difference in power. Once again, you just push it in. And uh, this right here, um, I would say between the upper cylinder lubricant and the Octane Booster, on a normal car like this car, this makes about 300 horsepower. You're gonna make probably about, I'm gonna say six to 11 rear wheel horsepower. That's my guess. And uh, your motor's gonna run a lot smoother. It's gonna have less vibration. You're gonna have uh, a much more complete burn and uh, your motor will last longer because, and your motor oil will last longer because you have less fuel contamination and that's the fuel going by the rings into your motor oil. And when you have a more complete film between the, those rings, you have less cylinder washing, less wear, less breakdown. So big difference, boom, that's all three. Now all we do is go ahead and motor up. We're gonna let her idle for 15 minutes, and then it's gonna be time to go ahead and drain her down. So how do you motor her up? That's a great question. We're gonna throw our cap on just to be safe. We still got a little smoke coming out of this because uh, we got her so hot. We let her idle for about 20 minutes, which is really good. And uh, it's good to have a good hot motor when you do the flush. It helps um, loosen anything up that's in there. Uh, it gets rid of all the carbon around the rings. Now I know a lot of people are very concerned about um, leaking and having all kinds of engine issues. Well, you're not gonna have that. I've done about a hundred flushes here on the channel and I've never had one problem. I'm gonna give you guys some mileage on this little angel. And uh, she has 85,000 miles. So uh, she's been running smooth as silk. And we're gonna be out on um, the road in a minute after we do the engine flush and drain the oil. We're gonna let her idle for 15 minutes and then it's gonna be time to go ripping around and we're gonna show you how good she runs. And uh, this is a good friend's car. This car is very familiar to me. I drive it a lot, love the car. So we're also upgrading some rotors. We're throwing on some drilled and slotted because the rotors warped on it. 
um, got a little heat in there with some good pads and the high performance brake pads cause a lot of heat. So we're gonna be upgrading everything. But this car has had the coolant on it for about three years now and it looks amazing. That coolant absolutely is just remarkably clean. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I mean, it is crazy how clean that coolant is. I'm trying to focus it for you. One second, see if I can get it focused. Nope, it's being a stickler. But it's extremely clean. And uh, all I do is add a little bit of coolant boost to it every year. And that's the Dominator Coolant Boost made by Amsoil. And what that does is it's a tri-tiered surfactant. It gets the water molecules closer to the aluminum. You have a better heat transfer. Your car warms up, up to 54% quicker. And you also run cooler when you're up to operating temperature. So it makes a huge difference. And uh, like I said, you're definitely going to want to see everything we did to this little angel right up here in the corner. And uh, I think this is the first engine flush we've ever done on this. We didn't do one before. Um, I just was inexperienced with the products back about four years ago. I didn't learn about everything yet. I was still new to AMSOIL. And now I'm learning a lot more. And you can do an engine flush every oil change. It's just if you don't have any buildup, there's no reason to do a flush. Now, if you have a motor that's got some miles on it, it's definitely worth doing. And you'll see the motor oil when it comes out, how nice it is. But uh, there's nothing wrong with doing an engine flush, making sure everything's clean. All right, now for the easy part, draining or done. All we do is come here. We got our 14 millimeter wrench, super easy and we didn't tighten her down too much, so she'll be able to crack loose pretty easy. Just like that. Come here, we got our drain pan, nice plastic one. Uh, I think we got this at Wama, it's one of those office bins. Holds like 29 quarts. And uh, that's it, we just drain her down. Three, two, and one. And that's it, and there she blows. She's a little bit of a misser. We missed. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yipes. <laughs> Yipes. So there we go. We let the uh, Chaco waterfall go. We let it drain down. And then we'll throw on our bolt. And you'll see how nice and clean everything is. Crush washer still looks good. So we're going to leave it. We're just going to wipe her down. Clean. Now as she drains down, we're going to go ahead up here and take off our oil filter. So all the oil filter was, was about 10, uh, 10 millimeter screws. So all we did is use a millimeter socket. I just use my drill, it's real quick to uh, take them off. So now all we do is take it off here and uh, you can almost get it by hand. If not, you can use a wrench that goes on the end or you can use what I use. I just throw a towel on and I use a regular oil filter pliers and these are good. You just gotta watch, you don't wanna round this off and scratch it too much. So what I do is I actually grab it right here by these metal ears and you'll see the grooves fit in perfect. And once you tighten it down really tight, watch. You can crack it like butter. You don't even slip on it. And that's what I love about these pliers. You get so much leverage and uh, you won't hurt yourself. And now that it's We'll let her dribble for a minute and you'll see how nice it comes out like water because it's broken down from the flush and now we'll slip her out there we go and there's our o-ring from our amsoil filter and whew, she's hot she is hot sexy lexi is hot oh and there's our filter so here we go, we'll spill it out and we'll show you our filter in our housing, how clean everything is. No carbon buildup, nothing. This is our old filter. And that's a filter after one year and about 12,000 miles. None of the pleats are crushed, messed up. All your O-rings are nice, really in great shape. And here's our fresh filter right here. And what makes this filter so great is it filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. And it really captures a lot of those contaminants that do a lot of wear. And the filters are good for 15,000 miles. So with this type of filter, 
sure you're not wasting all this time changing the filters and stuff like that. So now we're gonna go ahead, change out our O-rings on her. We got a whole O-ring gasket kit that comes with the M's oil filter. It's right here. You got all the O-rings. And we're gonna go ahead, throw on the fresh O-ring right on the cartridge, real easy. You get a little pick and pop it off. And then it's time to go ahead and throw on our filter and feel her up. All right, we got done wiping her down. We got her all nice and clean. We got our new O-ring on. We slap on our filter. It's, there's no direction it needs to go. Super easy to throw on, just like that. And now we got a nice virgin cord, a signature series, 100% synthetic. And now we get her all lubed up. And as I say on the channel, it's like pouring honey on pancakes. And uh, if it ain't wet, it ain't protected. And if it ain't protected, it ain't wet. That's why the wetter the better. And I say, don't ever be afraid to get messy. Because if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. And if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. That's why the wetter the better. So always get it wet before you get in there. That's my recommendation. And uh, your car will always be happy if you keep it nice and wet. So we got her all nice and lubed up. And uh, these pancakes are ready to go on. We just thread her right on. Here we go. Uh, uh, there's our nice clean housing in there. Super clean. And she'll slip on like butter. Ah, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, it's that time to feel her up. We're putting in our 100% synthetic liquid gold. And you say, well, even, <laughs> why are you so excited? Well, that's because this right here is the very oil that gave me the confidence in my personal Corvette way back about seven years ago. I had my 24-hour Le Mans edition, six-speed manual Corvette, took 5W30 signature. And uh, that very day I put in the liquid gold and it changed my life forever. It gave me the ability to have confidence in my vehicle. And it can do it for you too. And I always tell people, if you want your car to run longer and stay wronger, right there, you're going to want to put this stuff in your car. And I tell people, if you love your car, this is what you do. Now we got to give it an up-close crack. Ah, oh, just the sound of that is exciting. And now we pour it in, and we call this the liquid gold. Pour is so smooth, so clean, so easy. You say, even, why don't you do this more? <laughs> well... We sure have. We've done 700 videos on the channel over the years. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap that notification bell. That way you can watch gobs and gobs more videos on protecting your vehicles. Now we got 6.9 quarts of the liquid gold going in right now. And uh, I tell you what, it never gets old pouring in the liquid gold. Now this one will have to go lefty. And uh, believe it or not, this car takes 6.9 quarts. So pretty impressive and that helps with the cooling of the motor and keeping it uh, lubricated so the more oil your your car takes it's actually better and uh, I really like the Lexuses a lot so I'm going to stop squawking and we're going to be driving in a second but I also wanted to mention the end of month giveaway we do every last Saturday of the month at 11 a.m. so if you're new to the channel just a reminder we got about a thousand dollars in snap on tools getting given away we got about $1,000 in gift cards coming to you. So this is what we do this time of year. We don't hold back. We don't lay down. We don't sit there and say, what should I do this holiday? <laughs> what do we do? We share the heart on the channel. And that's what I love doing. It's giving back. And I always say in the channel, loving and giving makes life worth living. And the more you give, the better you live. And it really does come back around. And... Uh, so fortunate to have saved people about $10 million on the channel and counting. That's people I've personally come in contact with, not to mention the other people all around the world. France, Italy, Spain, New Zealand, Canada, Mexico, Venezuela, Brazil, Vietnam, Argentina, Guatemala, uh, you name it. They all watch the channel and uh, they're getting benefits with the products. And to me, that's what makes me sleep good at night is making sure everyone's happy. And uh, at the moment, we got uh, a lot of great action going on. So uh, definitely remember to leave that comment. Let me know what you love about the products. 
that's your ticket into my end of month giveaway and I randomly go through and select people. Well, enough squawking, let's go a driving. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's about 39 degrees out. Here we go, cold start. So she's ice cold right now. And I want you to see the way this car shifts when it's cold. Amazing how quick it shifts. Um, it's amazing how uh, when it shifts when it's cold out, that's what makes it so great, is it just doesn't stutter. And uh, we actually did a video showing the oil analysis on the fluid on this. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna take you out and show you exactly how it shifts when it's cold. So here we go, you're gonna see the very first shifts when it's almost freezing. About, what would it be, uh, I don't know, 10 degrees above freezing. Look at those shifts, like a light switch. And the car is still cold. And now we're gonna stop, here we go. I want you to see uh, how she shifts. She's still ice cold. Watch this. Watch these shifts. Amazing. All right, we just got a little heat into her and uh, boy, is she running amazing. Uh, she's about, I would say, up to about 100 degrees now. So the water temp's about 120 and uh, it actually warms up a lot quicker because we added the Dominator coolant boost, which goes into the coolant and it allows your car to warm up to 54% quicker. So I want you to check that video out up here in the corner out. Um, and I'll also put that in the playlist at the end of this video. At the end screen, I'm gonna put that little playlist there. And uh, we're gonna let her warm up. I'm gonna let you know when she's up to operating temp. And uh, it literally takes about five minutes. That's it because of how small the radiator is it's only about I think this is about eight quarts and um, and then also it's got the, the low toxicity biodegradable coolant which is made by Amsoil and then it's got the dominator coolant boost which I just mentioned so I mean this thing starts up so fast like it's hot when it's cold out because of the Amsoil and if you haven't seen some of those cold flow videos check them out up here in the corner and if you want to get your hands on this uh, Amsoil you can use my link down below. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, click show more. It's in the little corner here. And if you're on a smartphone, you're gonna see a reverse down arrow. Click that reverse down arrow and uh, you'll see all the products there. So now we just came into a stoplight and now the car is pretty much gonna be up to operating temperature by the time we get out of this light. So I wanna show you exactly where we're at right now. So we've literally started this car within the last few minutes and it's already almost up to operating temperature. The air is already hot and we went like a mile and a half. So uh, now once she's warm, I'm gonna want you to feel the power. We'll give you a little, little full throttle on her and give you the whole experience. So we'll turn off the heat. We'll roll down the windows. Right now it's saying it's uh, 45 degrees, but I don't think it's updated because it was uh, sitting in the garage. So, but um, so yeah, we'll see what we got here. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, so important to take care of the cars, especially if you live in a cold area. 
that's where about 80% of the wear can happen on your motor in the cold start. So here we go, three, two, one. Woo. Sexy Lexi is ripping. Hot to try. And now we got another stoplight, and now we're up to operating temperature. And uh, we got the brakes, rotors all broken in. We got the stop tech rotors on. And uh, man, this thing just holds gears so smooth. Woo! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I want you to see how good this is running. It's insane. You gotta see this. All right. We got another stop sign coming up, stop light. I want you to see how quick this car is shifting. So it's already up to uh, temperature. And now we'll give you a little, uh, a little rip on her here in a sec. And you can hear the car with the windows down. And I mean, this car with 85,000 miles on it, this car runs better than a brand new car. And uh, we've done the fluids on it. I mean, so easy to do the fluids on this car. Just amazing how uh, simple it is. So here we go. Unbelievable how smooth this car runs. I mean this car uh, We're at 2,700 feet right now and this car is doing I would say probably a 5.9 second 0 to 60 and we're at almost 3,000 feet above sea level and I mean it just it's unreal it gets uh, 30 It gets uh, 32 highway miles a gallon at about 69 miles an hour so amazing how good this thing's running and the downshifts are lightning fast I want to show you how fast the downshifts so we're slowing down we're slowing down I'm gonna floor it three two one I mean those downshifts are so fast I'm talking they're like a they're like a Hellcat. They're like, I mean, it's just crazy. So with that said, <laughs> I'm gonna want you to go deep sea diving. I definitely want you to check out all the cold flow videos we did on the, the, the Lexus WS fluid. Check out that video here. Also check out everything else we did on the sexy Lexi right here. And if you're new, definitely subscribe with the icon here and we'll see you next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Woo.